Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So, my cousin actually gave me the idea for this what if. And this is what if the Uzumaki were massacred when Naruto was alive. Now, what if Naruto was alive during the massacre? But no, it's not during the massacre. It's like, what if they were massacred when Naruto was alive? Okay? Alright. So, this starts back in the village of Eri, where... The Uzumaki live and protect this village as the ninja mercenaries and the strongest sailors to ever exist. These This clan has three Jinjuriki. The Jinjuriki of the Nine-Tails Fox, the Two-Tails Fire Cat Mutabi, and the Slug. Jin, the Slug. I don't know what the Slug thing is, but yeah. Right? So yeah. I could, uh, I, I'm gonna do another what if called What If Team 7 were Atsutsuki. But I don't know what I'm gonna do that with, so we're gonna keep going here, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so. What was I about to say? I forgot completely what I was about to say. Um,. Um, okay, so yeah, we start in the village of Eddie. This is around four years before Naruto is born. The Leaf Village has called upon the village of Eddie to help them because, yeah, to help them by sending a couple troops over. So, the village of Eddie decided to leave... Not the village of Eddie, but the Uzumaki clan decided to leave some of the people in Eddie to go help the Leaf Village. The rest of the clan goes. That increase that includes the three Jinjuriki. The three Jinjuriki go, and it consists of Kunshina, Izuko, and Lahiko. Lahiko and Izuko are twin brothers. Who one has the meat to be two tails cat, and the other has the slug. They're Kushina's younger brothers. And the reason Kushina has younger brothers is this is because, well, her clan was actually a lot. Right? So they go and she falls in love with Minato. Four years later, they have a child. And she asks her father, can she give her child the nine tails Jinjuriki? Because she feels as though she will die soon. And they know that it is, no, she feels as though that he would be the best candidate. And they know it's way easier to put the, put the bijou within a being, you know. Without lots of rap, it was not that quickly invite, quickly in a, well, they're really young. And they're like, well, since you guys want to do this, you want to, uh. <clears throat> do this. We need to ask your brothers because these the jerky of <laughs> the jerky of these three tailed beasts have been raised together for the last four generation of jerky. So we have to find three other wilders. Like, well, there's a girl. She was born five months ago. Her name is Sakura Harno, and there was a boy of my best friends making Mikoto's son Sasuke Uchiha these p children are both infantile we could sell all of these within them and like okay I think that is a good plan but they would have to be trained by you guys huh you would have to train the person that has your bijou within them okay so they go and ask Mikoto's Mikoto's like sure Fagaku thinks, okay, this is good. It gives us leverage if we actually want to go through with this coup. And then, so, and then, uh, you know, the Harno family, which there are a lot more Haranos in this one. Harno family is told they will become a prominent clan if they allow this to happen. Prominent clans get more money on missions. They get a sector of the village to themselves. And a higher possibility of certain other things. Right? Right. Okay. 
<sighs> so. So the uh so what happens? The transition of power of the ginger of the bijou goes within the children on the day of Naruto's birth. Fast forward six years, it's about the time for them to start learning how to fully control chakra and how to ask for their bijou's help. Now this what if that's a full Karama, which makes it a little easier to talk to his, you know, Jinjerki. Right, so he does that. He talks, you know, does whatever he has to do, and then he uh yeah. So he does what he has to do, and then he talks to Karama. It takes him around a year and a half to two years, eight years old, for him to do it. And then there's an invasion of the Leaf Village. Still under the fourth Hokage's reign. Naruto and the other Jinjuriki are protected because they are basically like royalty within this what if. Well, Naruto is royalty. But, yeah, and they're all the heirs of prominent clans. So, yeah. So, it happens. All the other four villages attack. Well, all three the three other villages attack, not including the sand. They all attack uh, the Leaf Village and... Well, they wipe out the Uzumaki, except Naruto Uzumaki, his two uncles, his mother, and his grandfather. So basically, the royals were kept alive, and a couple of the lower levels, like a couple of the ones that were on missions, right? So there is around 15 Uzumaki, not including the royals, which, you know, 15 from around 150, you know, that's like three or four times, right? Right? Times two, then times that by two, then times that by two. So it's like, yeah, it's like six times, times, you know, it's something. Right? So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that happens in Naruto X. Mama. Where's grandma? It says, Naruto, the village has been attacked. Your grandmother's dead. They're like, but grandpa's right here. Grandma had to help. She had to help the others. She tried to help them get out. But the village, the other three villages, targeted purely the Uzumaki clan. What are you saying, mama? All but the Uzumaki you see here are dead. And the ones that were previously on missions. And he says, no, you're kidding. Says, no, Naruto, we are the last of the Uzumaki clan. We will settle down in this village. It turns out that the village of Eddie was also attacked and wiped out on the way here. Mama, are you sure? Naruto says. Says, yes, Naruto. We no longer are the most prominent clan in the Leaf Village. We are now the second most prominent clan. <sighs> Mama. Like, it's okay, Naruto. Pretty soon, we'll be able to find all the others who didn't think it was good for us to, you know, help the Leaf. And that should get us at least to 50 members. Like, okay, Mama. Yeah. Okay, Naruto. So she sets out on a journey, and she finds a couple of them, but not a lot. And the, some of the ones she does find is like, nah, I'm not going to join. I told you guys not to help the leaf. Now our clan is wiped. Right? So these three villages basically, basically just made an enemy of the leaf, right? So Naruto makes a promise to Sasuke and Sakura. Listen. The bijou within you belong to my uncles before they gave them up to you because they felt as though something bad was already about to happen eight years ago. What are you saying, Naruto? This was that bad thing. What do you mean? We've been attacked. My family is dead. Are you sure? Yes. And I will enact revenge, and I will 
kill all of them. All of the ones who were involved with this. And Sasuke's like, Naruto, revenge. Okay, Naruto, I'll help you. Fast forward around a couple months. The, she has like, well, the Uzumaki clan isn't at full strength. They're still in mourning. We're about to go attack the Leaf Village real quick. Sasuke basically pulls up. While Minato's off on a Kage summit to try to talk peace. Itachi pulls up. Obito pulls up. And they're like, hey, Uchiha, time to get clap real quick. Clap, 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 clap. Right? Sasuke pulls up and he's like, hold on. Mom. Dad. And Itachi's like, head off. He meets him outside, obviously puts him into the... Tsukiyomi or infinite Tsukiyomi or whatever one it is. I think Tsukiyomi. Yep, Tsukiyomi. Puts him in his infinite Genju to makes three days go by in three seconds. And he has to relive the death of his parents for 72 hours straight. But it's really only three seconds. That's what... Time is so friggin' relative in this anime. Anyways. Yeah. So that's what happens. Um... Yeah, so in this, uh, Black Zetsu actually pulls up and does something for Sasuke, which unlocks his eyes, does something for Naruto, which gives him not the Renegon, but, you know, like the Renegon with, like, one Tomoe in it. That's, like, the center of its eye. And then gives, you know that uh, Jutsu, that that uh, Keke, that Dojutsu? It's at the end of Naruto, it's filler where they go and attack one of the seven swordsmen of the mist. Have that child that can literally see chakra, the exact level of chakra, and knows like different types of chakra and can recognize people from the chakra. Well, Sakura gets that, and I'm doing this for a pure reason that you will find out in the next part. Thank you for tuning in. We're out. <laughs>